In this video, we are going to be learning how to install and use the vulnerability scanning tool Nessus on Kali Linux. This video is a full tutorial of Nessus. We are first going to be installing the tool and then later we are going to be learning how to use the tool. So do not skip any part of the video, watch until the end and you will never have to see another video about Nessus again. So without further ado, let's begin the installation process. I will first open my browser and go to google.com and type Nessus space download and press enter. Click on the first link which says download Tenable Nessus. This is the official URL tenable.com forward slash downloads forward slash Nessus. So when you're on this page, you can choose the version. There is only one version available. For the platform, scroll up and select Linux Debian MD64 as Kali is a Debian distro. So after selecting the version and the platform which is Linux Debian MD64, click on download, click on I agree and your file will be downloaded. Open the folder that your file got downloaded on. I can confirm this is the file that just got downloaded. So on this folder, right click and click on open terminal here. You can see I'm in the downloads directory. If I do a ls, I can confirm this is the file that just been downloaded. Now to install the file, type the command sudo space dpkg space dash i space the name of the file. I will type in and press tab to autocomplete and then press enter. Type the password for my user. After the installation has been completed, I will start Nessus. Before I do that, I will clear some of the things so that you can see better. So to start Nessus, type the command sudo systemctl start space Nessus d and press enter. Type the password for your user. And now if I type sudo systemctl status Nessus d, I can see Nessus is now active and running. Now I will once again open my browser and type https colon forward slash forward slash Kali colon 8834 and press enter make sure HTTP is included then click on advanced and then scroll down and click accept the risk and continue now we have to do the configuration of the Nessus scanner so click on continue first select register for Nessus essentials which is free and click on continue here we have to give our first name last name and email address to receive an activation code here you need to be giving your business email address if you do not have a business email address follow the next step open another tab go to Google type temp mail and press enter click on the first link which is temp mail disposable temporary email and when you come to this page a temporary email will be automatically generated for you so copy this go back to Nessus paste the email give any first name that you want give a last name and then click on register and now we can see that we get the activation code which is this one copy and save it somewhere you might be needing it later and then click on continue now we have to set our username and password you can give any username that you want. I will call my username admin and I will give a password password. Do not give this type of username and password. I'm just doing for demonstration purposes only. This is not secured at all. So once you're done giving the username and the password, click on submit. And now Nessus will start installing the plugins. Do not do anything for now. Just wait until the plugins are installed. Meanwhile, please subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking. After the plugins are downloaded, you'll be able to click on this button, new scan. So I'll click on this button. Now let's talk about what we are capable of doing. Since we are using the free version of Nessus, we can scan only private IP addresses, meaning that we cannot scan any public IP address or domain name. And we can scan up to 16 IP addresses at the same time. And these are all the vulnerabilities you can scan with Nessus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do a basic network scan only. But the concept is the same for other vulnerability scanning as well. Once you're used to one form of vulnerability scanning, you can do the other one as well. So I'll click on basic network scan. And now I have to provide a name for my scan. You can give any name that you want. I will call the name my first scan. After giving the name, you have to provide the description too. So I'll copy the name and paste it in the description. And folder my scans is selected, which is fine. And now I have to provide a target IP address. So the IP address that I will be scanning is 192.168.1.13. This is a vulnerable machine that is on my network. Please do not scan any devices that you do not own or do not have the permission to scan. This is my own device hosted on my own network. And this is the Kyoptrix vulnerable machine, which also runs a web server. So I'm scanning this device. Next, I will click on schedule. Schedule is exactly what it sounds like. It will be turned off by default, but you can turn it on and schedule the task according to your own will. Suppose if you want the scan to be done once or daily or weekly or monthly or yearly. Next, you can set the starting time and the ending time. You can also select the time zone. I will not do this for now. I will turn it as off because I want to do the scanning now. Next, in the notifications tab, I can send my scan report to any email that I want. It can be your boss or your manager, but your SMTP server has to be configured for this. So I will not add anything for now. I will click on discovery here at the scan type i have the option to scan the most common ports which might be from 1 to 1000 i have the option to scan all the ports which is equivalent to dash p dash in inmap or i can scan custom ports too i will select port scan all ports it will scan all the ports then i will click on assessment assessment will scan for web vulnerabilities so at the scan type 
I have the option to scan for known web vulnerabilities which is just a quick and basic scan. I also have the option to scan for all web vulnerabilities which is much more in-depth and a complex scan and I can also customize my scan. I will just do a basic scan and scan for known vulnerabilities only and then click on report. Here you can define how your report will look like. I will not do anything for now and click on advanced. Here for the scan time, I will keep it as default and click on save. So if I want to run this scan, I will click on the launch button here and you can see the wheels are spinning which means my scan is going on. So wait for the scan to get completed. After the scanning is completed, you will see a check mark and it will say completed. So I'll click on it. And as you can see under host, I can see this is the host that has been scanned and it has also given me a summary report. So here red means critical, orange means high and so on. I can see I get 25 critical vulnerabilities, 51 high vulnerability, 71 medium, 14 low and 73 information only. So if I want to get a detailed report, I will click on vulnerabilities. I can filter based on the level of severity. So on the right corner, I see the settings button. So click on settings and then click on disable groups. Now, as you can see, it filtered based on the level of severity. I can also see how critical a vulnerability is based on the CVSS and VPR score. It is so high. It means it is extremely vulnerable. And this is the name of the version of the service that is vulnerable. And it is under the family gainer shell remotely, which means shell execution is possible in this server. You can research more about the vulnerability by clicking on the vulnerability and you can get information from here. So research about it and you can move on to the next phase of the penetration testing. And in the remediation tab, it is suggesting us some action so that we can protect ourselves. Other than that, if you want to download the report, then click on export and click on Nessus. It will download the report. There are many tools which will convert the Nessus report into an Excel file. In the extreme left, I can see all scans. It will have the history of all my scans. Since I have done only one, that's why there is only one scan. And lastly, if you wanted to stop Nessus, you would go to your terminal again and type the command sudo systemctl stop Nessus D and press enter and now Nessus is stopped. So this is how you install and use Nessus on Kali Linux. That is for the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.